Oh, no. yeah, yo, 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 uh, <laughs> your GPS is kind of throwing me off there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it should be done. Uh, no, nah, man, I, I'm, 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 uh, are you still working there? Are you, are you still working for KB? No, I'm about to go back. I'm about to go back. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so KB, KB transportation, what you, you worked there before. Right, yeah. You left, and now you're going back. Why? Why did you leave in the first place? Um, well, it was either leave or get fired. I had a moving. Uh, I had a warning ticket for speeding. Wait, wait, let wait. You got a warning ticket, so that yeah, wasn't. Yeah. So, so, so that didn't show I, up. I, I quit. No. That, it, it was. It's on my MVR. I mean, my. It's not on my MVR. It's on my PSP, but it's. Also, it's because they did it on a level three inspection that hit my CSA. Oh, well. okay, okay. Well, because I was I was about to ask, how was it possible to get a warning on your on your CSA if you got it from, you know, like a like a regular city cop or something like that? But you got no, it. No, I got it from a state patrol in Indiana. You know, they love doing that. Shit. Oh, okay, and they they popped a DOT inspection on you right then and there. Yeah, like a level three, but still, it's good enough to assign a speeding violation. Let me ask you this: the, is 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 a level three worse than a level one? No, level one is the worst one you could get because it's literally going under the truck, checking everything. Level three is pretty much paperwork and logs. Okay. That's all level three is. Okay, why why they got it in reverse it's, like uh, that? Basically, man. they fuck if i know man <laughs> why why do you get that why do you get that in reverse that's what i'm i'm so curious to know because i always thought a level one was the paperwork and the laws and the level three was no. the was the uh was the worst one so what's the level two then hello hello oh uh, you oh uh, you're breaking up there you're breaking up I got fucking sprint, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> how the hell do I have? How the hell do I have? I mean, I'm not even fucking moving, but. <laughs> yeah, level two, I think it's just where they don't even look under the. Um, they don't really look under the cab or anything. They just kind of walk around the vehicle. They don't do full. Inspect. Well, you still you you still sounding you drowning out. It's like you underwater I'm and you're sorry. trying to breathe. <laughs> And I get that, man. It's a fucking sprint. They're the one of the worst fucking cellular providers. Man, you but need to for, you, ne uh, for about. You need to upgrade your. You need to upgrade your service, man. Let's 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 get with Verizon. Let's get with. Let me call you. Let. Yeah, call me right let back. Let me call you back. Yeah. Let me see, if, see if that'll work. Okay. How we looking? How we sounding? Can you hear me better? I can hear you much better, bro. I don't know what to do. I had to restart my phone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's that Sprint service. How long you had Sprint, man? We need we need to get you upgraded. I've had, I've, I've, I've had them for probably a couple of years now. I I switched from Verizon trying to save money. That was a mistake. Not that, you know what? That's that's not a mistake, bro. I was with Verizon for over twenty years, man, and 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 they they uh they cut me off, man. They said that uh, you know, I, I was grandfathered in on the on the data side, and that was the reason why I stayed with them for so long, because you know I I wanted my unlimited data, and I was just buying my phone straight out, and they just uh one day. Yeah, I'm on a. It's just I'm not. The reason I haven't left them yet is I'm on a contract. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Sprint, you know, switched over to T-Mobile, so they, you know, probably might, probably might be a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, they, uh, they combine, but it's like I don't. My phones have a technical. Every fucking phone I've gotten from these people, I've had technical difficulty with. Man, I hear it. All right, so let's let's get back at it, man. So, so, so you, so you, instead of, so they was gonna fire you because of the yeah. of the ticket. They were going to fire me because they implemented, around that time, they 
too many people were getting too many moving violations. Okay. You know, these trucks can only go 65 mile an hour. Right. I pay, I pay because they raised my shit. Um, I pay $164 for fucking service. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, I don't get $164 worth. I hear you, man. I hear you. That's a, woo. That's that that's that good sprint service. So to man. answer your question, yeah, they let me resign to avoid getting fired because they uh, implemented a uh, moving violation. Basically, if you got a moving violation, you got you're gone because people kept fucking up, speeding. So they're like, all right, our CSA is just going up and up and up. So time to, you know. Cut that shit out. So wait, so wait, wait. Let me let me see if I get this. Let me see if I get this straight. So if if for, 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 for any moving violation is like one and done over there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch anything you said. It just all of it broke up. I I I say any moving violation is like one and done over there. Yeah, but it's like, at least that was during that time. I don't know if they rescinded it. But, uh, yeah, because people kept fucking, fucking up, raising the safety score. So what, so what moving violations that, that I will have to look at, what moving violations I will have to look at the, just to make sure that I can get approved to come to them? Um, well, what do you have, I guess? Well, I, I mean, no I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't have, I don't have nothing, but I'm just trying to get a, trying to get an outline of, of what, of what they, uh, any, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get an outline of what they, on what they're not approved for. You know what I'm saying? Speeding uh, is one of them. Any, like speeding is the biggest problem they were having, so. Mm -hmm. Anything dealing with speeding, but any moving violation, they will cut you fucking loose. Over. Okay, any uh, any violation, huh? It, it's, yeah, it, it, any it's, moving violation. Yeah, that's what they said. Any moving violation, you know, nope, you you're done. And I understand it. Okay, okay. So, but luckily for you, you you didn't have you didn't have it on your MVR. It was just. It showed up on your PSP because of the yeah, because PSP. of the uh, DLT inspection. The only thing I got on my MVR is a failure to yield. Oh, okay. And I should have fought that. Yeah, you you could have you could have fought that, man. All right. So, what what's orientation like over there, man? What's uh? Well, let me let me let me let me let me let me. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before you talk about orientation, what a, you know. Uh, was that a recruiter that I was actually talking to inside of the inside of the chat? No. Okay. Uh, you actually had to call in to them. Actually. Okay. So what's what's it like dealing with the recruiter? Are they honest? He doesn't bullshit you. I I personally, had, I mean, I was not bullshitted when he was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Um. Orientation, kind of. I don't remember exactly, but it was relatively quick. I mean, pr primarily, it's going through your typical standard bullshit with policies, mm -hmm. safety videos, mm -hmm. shit like that, driving test, drug test, backing up, you know, backing up, making sure you can drive, you know, handle the fucking drug. So is there is is there a driving test for the for for the experience as well? I'm sorry. Is there a driving test for the experience as well? A yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. Oh okay okay. Uh, what a it, it's just it's just standard. They just make sure you know you're you're you can handle the truck. You use your fucking turn signals. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just go around the corner and all like that. They're, uh, yeah, it's, they, they, it's not even a long driving, yeah, it's not even a long driving test. All right. The drug tests, hair follicles or, or, or urine? I didn't catch that, sorry. Drug tests, hair follicles or urine? 
I think they did both. They do both? I don't rem- yeah, I don't, I don't remember entirely, but I think they did both. All right. So would it, so they if they do if they do both and they can would they still let you go through if let's say if you come in with a bald head and 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 clean shaven body that they can't get no hair off of you? Would they well, still would I they st- never run into that situation, so I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So what's uh what's life like there, man? I mean, how how long how long you drove for them before you actually uh decided to uh part ways with them because of your situation yeah i uh, i legitimately drove for them yeah yeah how how long how long you drove for them though only like a few months like let's say it was like four months oh okay all right so within that four so talk to me man what, what was it like what was it like within that four month period you know dealing with the Dealing with the company as a whole, dealing with the with the recruiters. Well, I mean, not the recruiters, shift, but the, their night shift is their night shift is like any other night shift. It's going. It's not the best. They only got a few guys. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, they they were pretty good and about getting me, keeping me moving usually. All right. How, how, because you know, since you are making guaranteed pay, you know they want to keep that truck moving. All right. So, so you and the you and the um, you and the fleet manager, y'all had a good rapport with each other. How 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 was the fleet manager there? Uh, fleet manager was fine. I had. I mean, I don't think he's anymore there, but I was one of the. Oh, okay. 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 He, he, uh, we, we talked, we got her, you know, he went over loads with me, load times where I'm picking up, you know, kind of, you know, like that. Okay. Um, I bet, honestly, if I didn't need to call him for anything, I probably wouldn't hear from him. Oh, okay. Would he, would he ditch, would he dispatch you, uh, on a load that it, that you had to take it? Is, are they forced dispatch over there? Well, I, I can. If you're not running loads, you're probably not going to stay there very long. To be honest. Okay. Okay. But so, in other words, they're mid. They're mid. They're a Midwest area. To get that guaranteed pay, you need to be available for dispatch Monday to Monday. So let me ask you this about that dis about that guaranteed pay and that and that availability. So that means. Let's say if I'm not available, let's say that I'm up on on a Monday and I didn't get dispatched on a Monday or anything like that. But if Tuesday you were in the truck but waiting but two let's say let's say you you were in that truck, you were waiting for a load, but you, they couldn't get you loaded tomorrow. You were still available for dispatch, just the company didn't have a load for you then, so you're still gonna get paid. Yeah, but what if what if okay, so you're available for Monday. And then let's say, you know, you, you're up all day Monday. And then let's say Tuesday morning around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning, they come at you with a, with a, with a dispatch. And you, well, and you, and you turn it down. You, you just, I mean, you're protected under federal law, basically. If you, I've, I've ran into that, and I said, hey, just communicate with them. Communication is the key to success. You don't communicate with them how they go. Okay, okay. But so, will you still get that guarantee if even if you turn even if you turn that that two uh, that that one a.m. two a.m. load down on a Tuesday? Well, it, it depends if you've already been awake for the whole fucking day waiting on a dispatch, right? Um. Um, that's there on them. Oh, okay. Okay. Be like, you know, under the grass. I've been, it's like, Hey, I've been wait, waiting all day for you to get me a dispatch. Uh, so bud, you know, you know, under the grounds of safety, mm-hmm. I can't drive right now. Okay. Okay. So we can't, so, so we can't use that, you know, in, in case they try to, they night dispatch, try to, try to say we got an emergency load that you're the only one that's available and, you know, you well, must take it. I mean, emergency load is a. 
I mean, you know, it is they'll they'll do try to do a lot of relays on your ten hour. I will let you know that adds up. They'll try to do a lot of relays on your ten hour break. Okay. Um which depending on when it is in the break. I, I'm hit or miss with starting my clock. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what about uh? All right, so uh, can you bring riders with you, pets with you? Yes, there is. Uh, they could go over that with more in detail. I don't remember the riders' age, but they do have a riders' policy. They do have a pet policy, but you have to be there for either sixty or ninety days. Uh, Your first ninety days is like a probationary period, right? Okay, okay. Did did you get a did you get a sign on bonus? Do they they do a sign on bonus there? That goes on your very first check, yeah. Right now, say if you were to come orientation Thursday because they have a Mondays and Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, it's five hundred dollars, and it goes on your first check. Okay, so that's 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 all they give is just five hundred dollars. Oh, I mean you're still getting your guaranteed pay on top of it. Okay. Now let's talk about that guarantee pay for a little bit, man, because you keep mentioning it. My thing is this. Uh what's the CPM? I mean, what's the cent per mile it's there? On a base, take seven days on a twenty five based on a twenty five hundred mile average and divide it by fifty. That is where you, it starts off at fifty cents per mile base. Okay, so is that is that for every is that for all experience, no matter how long how long you've been driving? I guess that's all right. So if 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 I'm a ten year veteran, I'm coming in at fifty cent a mile. Yeah, I know that. I know. I know that. Probably a little low for that much experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is. But after the first, but when you're there for six months, it goes up a penny. So does your guaranteed with it, like whatever it matches that penny, and then like a year, another penny, and then two years, and then five years, something like that. I believe the cap is fifty five, but honestly, you'll be making good money. Hmm. And the twelve fifty a week is a minimum. Yeah, but you a minimum based on twenty five hundred. Meaning, if you did like say you did three thousand miles in that week, you would get a gross check of um, like fifteen hundred. Okay. Well, if you're going home, if you're going home every week and you're doing Midwest, you know you're doing anywhere you you well, doing uh, you doing anywhere from yeah, Min- you know, you're doing I anywhere from Minnesota to you. Ohio. You know that's that's what I would be doing. So. If I'm going home every week, I'm well, I'm looking. I don't see. Yeah, they 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 require you to stay out for at least two weeks. What on Midwest? Yeah, no, that's that's how they work. Hold on. So wait, if I'm on if I'm doing the Midwest region, I won't be able to get home every week. Nah, I don't think can. I, I would talk to a recruiter. On that, I just know how it was when I was there. Oh, okay, okay. It might have changed since because it's been a year. It's been a year or some in some change since I've been there. Oh, okay. So I would talk. I would specifically talk to a recruiter about that. Oh, okay, okay. But the the thing, home time weeks are not guaranteed pay because you're not available Monday to Monday. the The only way to fuck up that guaranteed pay is a driver error on a late pickup or a late delivery. And it has to be like you did not trip plan, you did not hear alarm, didn't go, you know what I mean, that type of shit. You you see, that's that's why I'm not, that that's why I don't feel guaranteed pay too much. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I, I just feel that it's, it's I like. Mean, if going home every week, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But that. That's not gonna work. Right, but I'm I'm just saying that guaranteed pay is like it's too too much stipulations with with guarantee pay. You gotta you you gotta do this and you gotta do that. And if you don't do this and you don't do that, you won't get your guaranteed pay. So that's like saying that that's like saying I didn't get a load on Monday. I didn't get a load on now, Tuesday. I had to straight up 
Yeah, I had to straight up tell him a couple times because you sometimes work 20-hour fucking days. And I had to tell him, like, look, I don't know about you, but I can't fucking sleep when somebody's bouncing my trailer all around, you know, because it's like, dude, I, I'm too tired to run this right now. And um, it, it didn't impact me, really. You know, I did what I could, but I'm like, I told him, I said, hey, I've been awake for 24 hours because it, it's reefer. They have that, that fucked up, those fucked up hours because it's refrigerated. They drive mostly the, during the night, like 75% during the night. And, you know, sometimes you have those long ass wait times. What about, what about, do they pay you for detention? Do they pay you for layover? Layover is only if you wait, if you're waiting 24 hours. Because they, uh, the detention, not really. No, because you have that guaranteed pay. That kind of sucks. I get it, but. What about detention? Because, you know, you get stuck in the door for like hours on end running reefer. Um, that, that's, yeah, I know what you're saying. And the, uh, last I checked, and I don't know if it's still the same, but they don't pay detention pay because you're it's with the ca calculator to get in your game. Uh, but you it, also, it, it also depends what type of contract they have worked out. It's usually... I think they'll get you something basically if you're like sitting like for fucking 12 hours or something like that. I think they'd get you something, but you'd have to ask the recruiter about that. Okay. Okay. So again, man, you know, they, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm doing my research. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking them up. I went on their website. I, you know, I checked them out, but they, you know, they got this asterisk on this weekly guarantee of 2,500 miles. That asterisk is like, you know, you may get it and you may not get it. Same thing with the yeah. same thing with the guarantee. You may get it and you may not get it. Again, the way I feel about the guarantee is that it's too much stipulations on there. You know, anything this mm -hmm. this this business this this business of trucking man is so unpredictable. You know, I I could be him. I could be hemmed up in traffic. I you know I could have a flat tire anything liable to happen and and I and won't be able to get you. I, I won't be able to get my my guarantee. No, you, if it's a breakdown, that's not on you. So you still get paid when you're waiting on the side of the road for somebody to come, even if it takes fucking ten hours. Still getting paid. Okay, okay. What kind of what kind of trucks they got? Huh? What kind of trucks they got? What's the what's, what's uh, the Freightliner? Oh, they all Freightliner. Oh. They have they they have automatic and they have manual. Oh, they got. So if you, you want a manual instead of an automatic, you go to manual. Oh, okay, so they got both of them for for drivers that don't want to mm -hmm. drive an auto. Well, me, I have a restriction, so I don't have a choice. Oh, okay, what about uh what what about the amenities inside the truck? I think. Like when would you get into a truck? You said. Yeah. What's what's the amenities in the truck? Do they got a refrigerator, television? Yes. What what they got in there? They have an APU. They have a fridge. You have to get your own inverter. Wait, they have a refrigerator, but you got to get your own inverter. I know. I, fortunately, I already have one. But yeah. <laughs> Let me get this straight, bro. You you they have a refrigerator, but you you have to get your own inverter. That mean you had to buy. You well, had to I buy. Think you could plug some shit. You could plug some shit in the APU, but it's not really that reliable. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can so you can buy the inverter from them. No, you can get one. I think if you say you got a two thousand watt for a truck stop, they'll install it for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, <laughs> you got to buy your own inverter. What what's the govern? I mean, what's the govern speed? Sixty five. On the pedal, a little safety. I don't know if they turn it off, but there's also a safety feature in the damn truck. If your headlights go on, or your wiper blades turn on, like you're, you know, in rain, mm -hmm. they sh your cruise control will shut off. What? I mean, you're not. So, you shouldn't be driving with cruise control in the rain anyway. What? But you know what? Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But if what if it's only a light drizzle? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I know. I, 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 I know. know. What you're saying, I, I know. And, and, you know. I also know. After the first, uh, you know, twenty minutes of it raining, and then the road's fine except on curves. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh So you know, I know that, but, <laughs> but like at nighttime, you can't run with crews. You wait. What do you mean? Oh, because the because the lights on. They it's serious. I know, man. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> now I now I was in. I don't know if they changed that. Uh, that it was before. Mm-hmm. I was in the chat uh, when I was asking him about uh, you know talking to him, and the one guy mentioned uh, the the one guy mentioned about uh, about uh, driving nights, and he you know he wasn't he wasn't a night driver, and I think somebody in there got smart with him and said that you know if you're not a night driver, then you can't drive for us. So majority of they so majority of well, they loads yeah, move at night. I know what you're saying on freight. Yeah, because uh, they do a lot. Yeah, I could say that for a fact. They do a lot of night driving. Oh, okay. They do a lot of night driving. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, not every not everything's driving, but it's free for, you know, you're going to have those, you know, like those bullshit 3 a.m. appointments. That's kind of just how that works. Okay, okay. It's it's reefer. That's you're, you're you you know if you if you know anything about reefer, that you should I, yeah. It. Trust me, I I know a lot about reefer and and, and them two those two a.m. Yeah. three a.m. uh deliveries because you gotta because they yeah, they so they deliver they, they they load their trucks during the day, so everybody gotta all of us gotta be there at night. So exactly, that's what they mean. Me, I like to honestly. I like how I had this early start. Like I, like I started at like three, four a.m. Mm-hmm. and then I shut down about the same time in the afternoon. I like that because everything's open. Do they got cameras in the truck? Huh? Do they got cameras in the truck? Cameras? I don't. Oh, oh hold on. We whine. We whine. Come back. Huh? I didn't hear you. You broke up when you said something. You asked if they had cameras in the truck? Yes, sir. Uh, when I last worked there, no, they did not. I don't believe they will. Oh, okay, okay. What about... If, what? If, they do, if they do have a camera, it would only be the dash cam. Oh, okay. The ones facing out on the road. Oh, okay, okay. Now... Yeah, I drive, I, drive with a, I drive with a fucking... Staring at my right now. You, I don't like you, it. you broke up all right there. You drive with a what? Uh, I drive right now with a camera in my face, and I don't like oh, it. Okay, okay. So you got so you so the company you with has uh has two way cameras. Yeah, they have the it driver in the and we're facing one. Yeah, the light and, um, the light tech system. I I'm, I'm familiar with that. Not a not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't I, I, I call it a distraction. <laughs> not because I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of them at all. But it is what it is with some of these companies that's going forward with uh with driver cams in their in their in their in their trucks. Well, I I honestly feel it's an invasion of privacy. But I believe if the fucking truck shuts off, that camera should not be on at all. I agree. shouldn't be on audio or video. I agree. I agree. Uh, you get paid. How how do they pay you out, man? Do uh do they pay you out weekly, biweekly? Yes. Weekly. Uh, direct deposit. Yeah, you just have to bring a void a check. But oh, yeah. Okay. 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 What about um? What about leasing? You you know anything about that with him? No, they don't have any owner operators. Oh, okay, okay. Now, be, there's no leasing option with them. Now, being that this is a reefer that you run in, this is all no touch freight, right? Yeah, it's all no touch. As far as I know, it is all 100% no touch freight. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Do I have anything else? Uh, most you're gonna have to do. They pay for uh, they pay for washout scales. 
Okay, you you broke up again. What'd you say? Okay. Okay, they pay for like uh wa- like trailer washouts, scales. Okay. And I think if you have to pay for reserve spark parking, mm-hmm. reserve parking. Mhm. And oh, they got that good sprint service again. <laughs> Yeah. I still can't hear you. But, uh, I, I still couldn't hear you. you can hear me now? I, I can hear you now. I, the thing that I didn't hear was you said about reserve parking. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I have this other phone here with me. Okay. This mother, this bullshit, you're going to make me fucking, you know. Throw it out the window. TNT service. <laughs> I don't think I have that. Damn, no, I already cleaned my truck out, so I don't have that shit with me. All right, so if uh, if you have to pay for reserved parking, you say they'll pay for it? I think so, and it's only, like, if it's, like, you know, your last resort. Like, I, I think they might look at you uh, funny if it's, like, 3 p.m. and you, 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 you're you paying for a reserved spot. <laughs> I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah, 3 p.m., you should all – there should be – there should be some spots around 3 p.m., but yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> yeah, that part that even on East Coast, even there on East Coast, about 3 p.m., there's still spots. I know, right? Uh, your 34 hour reset, man. Can you take the truck home? Can you what? can you take the truck home? Yes. Okay. They 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 don't they they don't mind. Is they strict about where they want their trucks to be at? Like some companies, re- pretty much like a truck. I park I park mine at uh, Pilot Travel Center mm-hmm. um, next to my house. Just they prefer it somewhere that has cameras or you know. Okay. Ca- you know cameras. You know, and I understand. Somewhere that's kind of secure, kind of secure. Okay, okay. What about uh, what what about your what about your actual thirty four? Do you get like do you like if you're home for the weekend? Do you actually get like a full couple of days off, or is your after your thirty four that you got to come back on? Well, I think home time is kind of like you. I'm mean, all right. You, you cut out again, bro. Like they might do stay. I I don't remember exactly. I think there one. Like if I want, if I stay out four week four weeks, I should get four days off. Okay, okay. Well, that's what's up, man. That that is what's up, man. Uh. Yeah, I think they they are good about getting you home. All right. So you said uh, you you've been gone for you you've been gone for a year. So they was like. You know, just just leave for a year and and we'll bring you back on. But let me ask you this: uh, Why? I mean, why would you want to go back? Why Why would you want to go back uh, to KB? Okay. Well, I personally never had an issue with them. Okay. <laughs> I actually like driving with them. For me, I didn't feel like I was getting micromanaged. You know, as long as I did my job and didn't fuck up, they didn't give me any issues. Okay. Um, well, like, they, you know, it's guaranteed pay, so you you really can't complain about much. Really, the only way to really just kind of, you know, fuck up your guaranteed pay is if you fuck it up. Okay. And I, I'm sure you've been in this game long enough to know what your fuck up. Exactly, are. exactly. Like I said before, if it's you know, if a shipper makes you late for your pickup, that's a shipper. Mm-hmm. That, that's not on you. They're not going to take your guarantee pay for that. But if you're playing the fucking truck stop cowboy, mm-hmm. they're going to take your guarantee pay from you. Oh, okay. Okay. What about uh last thing, man, before I let you go? Uh what about it was it was something it was something that happened to uh it was something that happened to a person and I wanted to bring this up. Um if you decide if you decide to quit, uh you, if you decide to quit, 
would they would they would they route you back so you could drop the truck off at uh at any uh at any terminal or does it have to be the terminal? They only have they only they only have one terminal. Oh, okay. And that's the one in Iowa. So they will route you back. Just what you need to do is give them a two weeks notice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, I don't I know I've heard stories, heard other companies say shit. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, I think if you're cool and cordial and you give them enough time and, you you know, you're, you're nice with them, they, they won't fuck you over. Okay. What a- like, like they're letting me come back even though I was, um, I was technically going to be fired. So that, that's, you know, I was cordial with them. I was polite. I understood, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Okay. Um. Let me tell tell you a little more too. Say you you bump something, you fuck up, you crush your stairs like I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. They make you pay a percentage, and it doesn't go on your deck, and we just don't talk about it no more. Okay. If it's something minor like that. Um, if you have a failed DOT inspection mm-hmm. for something that you would clearly be able to look at if you fucking did it pre-trip you know or when you know you're you're looking back and you can park them out or you know your multi-purpose light out and then you pull on a scale and you don't say nothing to KMB and you know you get a uh, bad inspection they will charge you for it mm. uh, I will let you know that um it fluctuates, but it usually, it doesn't go past. I believe it does. Like it, it, it depends on severity of the expression. Mm-hmm. Like if you fail a level three, level two, level one, it, it depends. Um, I, but like like when I got that speeding, mm-hmm. that was technically a failed inspection, so I got charged two hundred dollars for it. And they took it out your paycheck. They took it out my paycheck. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So don't fuck up. <laughs> Not right. You know, if you don't fuck up doing something stupid like speeding or something stupid like not getting the out and looking before you back somewhere, mm-hmm. or like in my thing is I was back in that truck when I was fucking fatigued. Mm-hmm. You know, I just worked in 18 hours and, you know, I was at the dock. I fell asleep. I got woke up two hours later. I'm already exhausted. Okay. And I, it was one of those, you know, yellow poles that stick up. Mm-hmm. You know, they're like four feet tall. I knew it was there, but, like, I was so fucking tired, I didn't even remember it, and I hit it. Okay. Okay. It was a tight, it was a tight spot, but crush the stairs. I paid them $150. It's not on my deck. Okay. But if, if you didn't pay them anything, then they would have put it on your deck. Well, you, you, yeah, and they probably would have let you go too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, KB, man, it's uh, you. You sign a written agreement. Okay. All right. Well, KB, man, that's the, thanks, man. That's a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more to mm-hmm. think about. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to talk to mm-hmm. talk to the driver. You know, um, you get more. You get more info. Yeah, I mean, I look at it this uh-huh. way: if you're not an asshole. If you are not an asshole, you're not one of those Billy Bob truck super fucking truckers, and they make a cheap your dispatch people that are handing you loads like shit. You, you know, you should be fine. Just as long as you're not an asshole, you, I don't think you have anything to worry about. All right, all right. Well, that's good to know, man. That's good to know. And. You'll get the context if somebody's an asshole to you and just, you know, constantly on something, there's people you could talk to and they'll take care of your problem. All right. What about uh what about the benefits there? Um they have at no life uh help they don't have any four oh one K. Um I don't believe they have any life insurance. They do have health, dental and vision. It's uh ninety like they cover ninety you pay ten percent. Okay. 
and that starts after 60 days. All right. It's Aetna. So is it true that they don't really consider you a number there? Did they really know your name? Did, did, every, any, mm-hmm. did any and everybody there really knew your name? I'm sorry. Try that No, nah, you know, I'm, I'm looking at their thing, and it says you're not a number. But I'm asking you, did any and everybody there, including the fleet manager, actually knew your name? My dispatcher I talked to did. But any, any. I mean, you, you got to keep in mind, there's like, on day shift, there's like dispatchers. They're governing 750 trucks. Mm-hmm. So I, you get to meet your dispatcher eventually. Um, cause you do rounds sometimes from the office, you get your load, check your lo- into safety to make sure everything's good. I think that, yeah, this is right. Hmm. Yeah. You, you get checked with planning. You, you do rounds like once a month or something of that nature, like, you know, making sure everything's good and you get to see people face to face. Okay. Um, Eventually, as time goes on, they'll they'll get to know you. Okay, that's what's up, KB. All right, man. Well, I hey, I appreciate you uh, giving me the chance to talk to you, man. I you know I appreciate it, and uh, good luck uh, going back with them. Uh, who who yeah. you you can you're so good, just let me know who who you <laughs> who you pull for right now. Uh, who you pull for right now? Yeah, um, and who who my recruiter is Nate no, Dix. No. He hasn't been my recruiter. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, who you pull for right now? I didn't hear you if you said it. I'm sorry. I said, who do you pull for right now? Enterprise. Say what? <laughs> I don't. Th- I, I I don't think Sprint want me to know who you pull for because I haven't heard nothing. I heard North Dakota. That's all I heard. Okay, Jmar Enterprises. Oh, Jmar, Jmar Enterprises. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're pretty. Uh, there are like sixty trucks. My issue, only issue with this company is thirty-eight cents per mile, two thousand miles a week. Wait, wait, what? Pulling then, I'm only making thirty-eight cents per mile. And only getting two thousand miles a week. Okay, see, Sprint then don't want me to know all about that, man. Look at it. You you see what Sprint doing? Sprint cut us off. Sprint was like, "Yo, we don't want that out there." <laughs> Hello. I, I I think I lost him. Oh man, I gotta I gotta check that. I gotta check them out too, man. I got to check them out, too, but Sprint, Sprint, man, come on. Sprint, Sprint, we was just getting good. Sprint, man, oh, man, oh, man. Sprint just cut us off just like that, man. He said, he said, and I quote, 38 cent a mile and 2,000 miles a week. 38 cent is unheard of right now. But uh, if he calls back in, we'll 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 chop it up about that. But uh, but yeah, man, Sprint, man. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, he just texts me back too, man. He just texts me back. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, man, Sprint though. But I I think it said the company was Jmar, J Jmar. I'm gonna have to check them out though. I'm gonna have to check them out too. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need somebody from that company to give me a call so we can we can chop it up about uh Jmar. You know, I'm not sure how long he been there, but we was pretty much talking about KB, and we I want to leave it at that. But uh, if you guys are interested in uh, KB trucking. Or KB Transportation. They're located out of Iowa. Um, 
A couple of people there, you know, like it. A couple of people there don't like it. Obviously, he does like it. So, you know, um, but um, but yeah, that's what's up. KB, y'all. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this, man. I really do appreciate you watching. I really do appreciate you listening. If you want to you wanna know where I'm at on the podcast, uh platforms i'm on all of them iheart google i um uh, apple all of them just just type in lockout man and i am there um yo i am here i am ready for you guys if you want to come on and chop it up with me about anything any and everything we could we, we could chat we could chop it up and just talk man you know what i'm saying platform is yours hit me up at g uh at the gmail lockout man podcast at gmail.com or you can hit me up in the text 216-600-2090 or instagram booyah and hit me up in the dm over there that's all you got to do on this episode of Exposed, i do appreciate it i am lockout man and we are gone